Welcome back, folks, to the Organ Trail Director's Cut. When last we left off, we were at the dump site, and we'd, uh, got a few things done here already. We're not gonna take the body armor, and there are no more jobs to do. It is a deadly night to have zombie activity, and we are most certainly not going to be doing anything scavenging related right now. We could do some station wagon repair. The station wagon has a bit of work needed to be done on it. So let's do some repairs. Nope. That's better. A little better. Come on. We can do this. Hey, that's a big combo at the end. Mm, not bad. Now everybody's going to, uh, yep. Lose a little bit of health. Let's keep trying to repair this station wagon. There we go. Nearly. One more hour, I think, worth of repair. I think two scrap will do. We have plenty of scrap. At some point, I'm going to have all of my scrap stolen from me. And then I will ha Oh. A tiny little bit. Alright. Two more. Maybe I should have just used four last time. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that's good enough. Now we need to do some resting. We can't go fish, so let's go rest, shall we? There we go. One hour. That should help. And another hour. That should also help. Zombie activity is currently high, rather than medium or low. There's never non-existent, is there? Never non-existent. Well, we can wait another hour, perhaps, or we could do some scavenging or something else. Uh, just got to have one more look in town here. We have practically no money, which is a downside because they have a fair amount of ammo left. We could do some trading. Trading is always something we could do. We do have a lot of supplies. Let's wait. Okay, what do they have? Oh. Nobody wants to trade at all. Somebody who will trade one of your their mufflers for one of your tires. No. Okay, that didn't work. It is 8 a.m. and I think it is time for us to head out. Now, where would we be going if we were going to head out here? That was a long journey there. Let's leave. All right, we could either go to uh, Albuquerque. Or we can head to the satellite field. Light supplies and carry capacity plus, or Albuquerque with a soup our last battery. Hmm, that's 500 miles. This is 492 miles. I think we'll go to Albuquerque here. Let's go. 505 miles to Albuquerque. Let's see, how bad could it be? Spundy has a fever. That's how bad it can be. You met a charming old man and lose track of time. Oh dear. Well, things are already going wrong. Some food goes bad. Well, not a lot of food. We've got plenty of food. The fuel situation, however, not so great. Gonna have to wait for Spongy to no longer have a fever. Phil cracks their skull. Phil! How did you manage that? Really, how did you manage that? You push your muffler too far, but you replace it from supplies. Well, we have plenty of mufflers. We're going to have to stop for quite a while in Albuquerque when we get there. Oh, wow, the party's already not in a great way. Wow, Spundy's health is deteriorating rapidly. Station wagon... Oh, Spundy no longer has a fever. The station wagon's relatively okay, though. Relatively. Something catches your eye off the road. Would you like to go out and investigate? Yes. You spot a woman in front of a house. She sits at a stump, gutting a rabbit. She notices you approach. Now hold it right there. Are you friendly? She asks as she points her knife your way. I will greet her carefully. Hello! You introduce yourself. Oh, thank goodness. My heart can't ha take having to put down another would-be bandit out to harm a poor old woman who's just trying to take care of her own. She continues gutting the rabbit with a casual proficiency. If you want to stick around for dinner, I'll be glad to introduce you to the family. I don't get talk with anyone much, anyone very much these days, and I would like welcome her company. Welcome the company, rather. Take her up on the offer. 
By the way, my name is Rose, but don't worry, they're perfectly safe. She reassures you as she gets up and walks to the front door. She goes to inside and you hear curious metallic rattlings. They're perfectly safe? You leave this uncomfortable situation. Yeah, I'm not going to stay when who knows what they are. They could be anything. Anything. Your muffler was sabotaged by a bandit, but you have an extra. It's a good thing I have so many mufflers. It's a good thing. You see a tombstone by the side of the road. Would you like to stop and investigate? What of two things can happen here? Either a good thing or a bad thing. S. Tennyson forgot to double tap. Rest in peace. That's the bad thing that can happen. <coughs> Fortunately, it was just a normal zombie. It can be a crawling zombie. Ah, looks like these survivors are doing relatively okay. I think that one has a sword. Alright, what have we got? Jobs. For every ten of those things you can kill in 40 seconds, I'll fix your car up a little bit. Sounds like a good deal. Let's do it. Sounds like a great deal. Let's get the car fixed up some. Alright, zombies. We're gonna run you over in our car. Uh, if only all zombies were this easy to deal with in the game. Just go scavenging and just bring the car with you. Just bring the car. It doesn't fix your car up a lot doing this, but it fixes it up a little. Also doing pretty well on the uh, number of uh, zombies there. Doing pretty well. I wonder how many people actually have cars that are working, because it doesn't seem like there's a huge amount. Oh, there we go. Back to about 90 there. Nearly a hundred. The station wagon gets a tune-up. Okay, how bad is the wagon now? Oh, it's pretty good, actually. We might even not need to repair it. Okay, what about in the actual auto shop? Today's special is extremely expensive. And it replaces the cow catcher, so we uh, aren't even going to think about that. Supplies. We have enough mufflers and batteries and tires. We don't need any more of them. Zombie activity right now, however, is high, which is bad. We have nobody we can trade with. What about things we can buy? Oh! Just... Whoa! Fuel is expensive. Wow! Suddenly, fuel became a problem. Mainly because we don't have much of it. Um... Is there anybody here who can trade with us? 42 of their ammo for three of your- No! I need fuel! Trade me fuel! We'll trade 52 of their food for 20 of your dollars. Uh, no. And a passerby wants 13 of your food for one of their batteries. Yes! That seems like a fine offer. Alright. Two of you, their fuel for 35 of your food. Here we go. Yes. And three of their fuel for 53 of your food. Yes. See, if you just stop our food, it eventually becomes the currency of choice. Nobody to trade with. Okay. We can do some fishing. It looks like at this hour, there is going to be nobody who wants to... Uh, who wants to actually trade. Also, poor Dangmar. Let's do some fishing, shall we? Alright. At least there's actually something to fish. Oh. Nope. Nobody there wanted, uh... We'll go here, actually. Alright. Hopefully this isn't a zombie. Oops, uh... Accidentally lured away that fish. Here we go. Alright. Not a zombie. Please not a... Hey, it's not a zombie! That's a plus. Always like it when it's not a zombie. Come on. Let's reel you in. You are going to be a very late dinner. More like a midnight snack. Nice to know that the fish haven't been uh, zombified that much. Although, you're probably going to have to be careful from now on going into bodies of water. There we go. A swordfish. I'm pretty sure we've caught a few of those before. Oh! Yep, 
Yep, there we go. We have caught one before. Yep, we're just healing slowly. We could go fishing a little more, but I think, to be honest, we should just rest a few hours. Actually, why not fish? It's exactly the same as resting. We can actually go catch some spare parts, potentially. Oop, let's get that away. And that away. Okay. I think that's scrap. It's not, um, struggling at all. Could be anything. It is... A clam! Aha! Well, that's a new thing. We haven't caught a clam before. There we go. Just add that to our new catches. Or maybe we've already caught a clam. Oh well. Zombie activity is high. I think we're just going to rest for a few hours now. Three. No, two hours. Let's see. Uh, that's uh, medium. No, high. No, medium. Rest for one more hour here. One more hour, and one more hour in addition. There we go. Still medium. One more hour. We want to wait for it to get to low. There we go. We want it to be at low, so that we can scavenge. Because when it's low, that means it's safe to go out and find various things like bullets and money. Like money right there. That money is potentially going to help. Oh, zombie there, just get rid of- Oh, hello! You more money. You going to get shot? Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Oh! That uh, looks like food. That's because it is food. There we go. We're doing pretty well on the, uh... Ooh, more food! This is making up for all the stuff that we traded away. Because food ends up becoming quite an important currency. A very important currency. Also, no boss fight, please? Please? There we go! 115 ounces of food at $25. We might as well scavenge some more. Why not? Ooh, bullets and money. Let's go get both. There we go. Excellent. And... Shoot you. There we go. And some scrap! Well, that'll replace all the scrap that we've been, uh, using before. Okay. Let's make sure we just don't have too many zombies to deal with. We don't want to have too many zombies to shoot. We can lead these around, that's- oh, nope. That's mine, I'm afraid. That is my food. We'll just lead these around a little bit. And hope that it's not a boss fight or anything coming up. Nope! 20 scrap and 20 dollars. Nice. Still, um, 12 p.m., noon, and zombie act- Whoa, that's a medkit! Lovely. Can't complain about a medkit. Not even a little. Not even a little. There we go, we have more food. Excellent. Hmm. And we'll shoot you. Oh, more scrap. Nope, sorry sir, that's my scrap. You are a zombie that is going to... No. We're just going to shoot you now, sir. I don't think anything else is going to appear, though. Just these two zombies that are dragging themselves across the floor here. There we go. 20 scrap and one medkit. Not a lot of food, though. We have a lot of food. You can never have too much food. You can also never... Uh-oh! It's Grumpet again! He's followed us, folks! He's followed us! No! Crumpet! Do not shoot me! I don't even know how you could! You're a bear! And he stole that scrap while I was busy fighting Crumpet! Why don't you help me fight Crumpet? Crumpet is an unstoppable force! You cannot stop Crumpet, the sooner you can stop the tide of zombies. There we go. We managed to find 350 ounces of food. Crumpet will return, though. He always does. You've just got to be careful. You can just see him in the distance, just spying and waiting. 
And there's a grave, and this is my food, sir. Yes, back away. I will also have this scrap. There we go. There we go. Nice. What else can we find here? Ooh, more scrap. Now we need to shoot you. We need to shoot you so we can have a path to escape. We can lead these ones around quite comfortably. It seems like boss fights in light start quite soon, but if memory serves, they don't necessarily start immediately. We've had 100 ounces of food and another 45 scrap. Now activity has got to medium. We have a bit of money. We can afford to scavenge one more time, I think. Once more on medium. When it gets to high, we don't want to be setting out of town while the activity is high, though. Just in case bad things happen. Okay, we'll shoot you. And you. Ooh! A big pile of money. Now that's beneficial. And bullets. Ooh, more bullets. Can I make it to those bullets in time? I think I can. Which is good, because I want those bullets. Don't mind me, zombies. Just scavenging and circling you around. There we go. Fifty dollars and fifteen scrap. I want to see if there's anything we want to buy. With a hundred dollars? We can't buy bullets. Let's buy two. How much fuel do we actually have? We have a fair bit of fuel. We have 11 cans of fuel. But, can't hurt to buy one more can. Can it? No, it cannot. It really can't. The car is in good condition. The party is in great condition. And we have a lot of supplies. Three tires, two batteries, two mufflers, $70, seven medkits. I think we leave. We have two choices, the desert motel or that place. Now, we're sort of heading between two areas of radiation here. So I think we need to head to the bomb shelter here. I mean, that goes straight through the radiation. No thanks. Faster reloads, one thing, but uh, faster bullets we already have. That's 532 miles, though. All right, let's go. 500 odd miles, we have enough food, we have enough fuel. Following the wake of vultures has led you to food. Excellent. Excellent. A series of bodies are on display on both sides of the road. Let's move on. The car seems to be doing okay. We might need to think about fixing it up when we get to the bomb shelter. You feel like someone or something is following you. I don't want to know what that someone or something is. You think you see someone in the road ahead? Do we see someone in the... You spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. Well, you probably need to do that. The battery dies. You replace it from supplies. Ooh. It's getting nerve-wracking now. Zombie activity's deadly. Watch out for anything. You discover one muffler hidden poorly under some branches. Well, that replaces the one we lost. We'll definitely need to fix the car up when we get to the next place. Ooh, rain. Oh, no. We have to drive slower, which means we'll consume more of everything. We don't go as fast. We eat more food. Health will deteriorate. Ah, the sky cleared up, though. Excellent. A series of bodies are on display. More bodies. More bodies. A sandstorm click, uh, uh, kicks in. Not clicks in, it kicks in. But fortunately, we have made it to the bomb shelter. A very specific bomb shelter, actually. We are here. So, when we come back, folks, we will go and do jobs and see what we can purchase and train in in the bomb shelter. I think the uh, combat training is pretty, yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I've already got. And also, that guy's disappeared. Oh, maybe that was the combat trainer. I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.